Alrighty guys, good afternoon. Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Devil Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright. Mr. Kyle Bennett. This one has been a long road. Alright. Um, Kyle sent in this custom Jasper. Now, this thing is a translucent type case that is heat activated. So the hotter it gets, it changes different colors. It's really, really strange. <laughs> Right, to say the least. Um, let's just say it's bipolar or has uh, multiple personalities, okay? But um, anyway, Kyle sent this thing in. All right, now his motherboard, the uh, HDMI was no good. The composite video out was no good. After some further testing, we found out that the GPU was no good on the motherboard. All right, so what we opted to do was replace the motherboard with a DVD drive. Okay, and put it in there, RGH it, which we did with a cool runner, Rev C, RGH 1.2, and then we stuffed a 2 terabyte SATA 2 drive in it, alright? It is fully loaded, ready to go. It is up on the line server, along with a 10 day trial, the purge for GTA 5. Alright, so I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to boot this little bastard, alright, and hopefully, with an insane amount of luck, it will boot, alright, and as you can see, it's got a couple of LEDs in it, you know, I mean, that that was the standard stuff that came with this case or whatever, I mean, I don't know, alright, but, um, anyway, needless to say, making a long story short, and of course, my, my video is, is dying here, um, let me reset this thing, there we go, alright, now, <clears throat> we will reset it, and uh, hopefully the video will come out okay now. All right, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to sync up the controller right here, okay? Now, this is RGH 1.2, okay? System booted. And we're going to go ahead, and we're going to boot. Hey, Reflex, what's happening, man? Good to see you, brother. Hope you're enjoying your console. I see you were on the server. Yeah, I watch it. I see you. <laughs> okay, and we're going to boot up into uh, FSD Dash. We're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that. Or as I have a wired connection into this thing. Okay. And there we are. Welcome to life. Going to get one more. We should be from the purge. And then what's going to happen is. Is I'm going to take you for a tour on this thing. Okay. So. And there you are. Okay. Now. Under emulators. Okay. Genesis Plus 360. SNES 360 and main. And then of course we have our classic games. Alright. Well, we've got a bunch of them on there for you. And then of course our homebrew section where the tools reside. As you can see. And then we have our Xbox Live Arcade. And we have a bunch of arcade games on there. Sorry, that title cover is missing, you know, I mean, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Alright? And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? Which this thing is, like, freaking crazy loaded with everything that you could ever imagine and then some, okay? It goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, okay? So, yeah, we're still, yeah. And then we'll go back to, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's, yeah, coming close. There we go, wait a minute. Yep, and there we are, okay? So, as you can see, we got a bunch of stuff on here. Hunter, what happened? The mail that the post office screwed you over, didn't they? Didn't they? <laughs> you gotta love them, okay? United States pissed off service or whatever the hell it is. I, I please, I'm so sick of the post office. You have no idea, man. I'm telling you. But um, anyway, okay. Uh, as you can see, it's a fully loaded system. All right, now, all right. We'll go over to the homebrew section right here. We'll go to Xbox 360 dashboard, all right, just to show you that it is online. All right, there you are. Hello again, Kyle Bennett. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You can only have 30 reserved days left. Okay, got it. Good. All right. We will bypass this. Yeah, it's delayed, all right. Yeah, it's always delayed. Okay? It's it's like it's like taking Viagra and it doesn't work. Okay? It's delayed. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm sorry for dicking all over your uh, video, cop. All right, so anyway, I'm... Um, yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's up, it's online, it's live. All right, here's our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. Okay, over in our fifth badge, we have our VO2 cheats, our dose cheats, and Modern Warfare 3 cheats. Our MW2 cheats are coming this weekend. Or I should say this week, actually, okay? So, if you get an update on the server, you'll know that's what it's for, all right? So, anyway, now, to get back to FSD Dash, you smash the A button at Xbox Home. That will take you back, all right? I loaded multiple dashboards on this thing for you, too, which I'm going to show you, all right? There he is! Give me a stiff neck! 
Kyle? <laughs> First you get still, then you say stiff, okay? It's an erection in your neck. <laughs> oh my god, I've had it for four hours. Goody! I don't know what man would complain about having an erection for four hours, man. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Until you kind of like get up to go get a drink and you walk into the door and the next thing you know you're stuck in the door. You know, it's not, not, not cool, alright? So anyway, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I loaded it with multiple dashboards, okay? So here we go. Alright, I'm gonna show you. Alright, this is how you're gonna do this right here. You're gonna go into dash launch, alright? And you will see paths right here, and as you can see, we have freestyle dash, that's what it's booting up into. Okay, button B is gonna be FX menu. Alright. The uh button Y is gonna be uh your stock dashboard. Alright. Left bumper is gonna be Aurora. Okay, so you know, if you hold down these buttons while it's booting at the logo, it will it will load the corresponding dashboard, alright? To change uh, the default dashboard, just hit A, and then back out to the double dot folder, go to Aurora, and, you know, or you can go to FX menu or whatever you want to choose for it to boot up into, alright, and just hit that right there, okay, and then what you're going to do, you're going to hit RB, bring it down to HDD, hit X to save it, B to back out, and now, lo and behold, it will load Aurora, okay, there you are, Aurora is already set up too, you don't have to do a damn thing, it's already set up, you don't have to go crazy. It's already done. All right. So right now we're in show all. Okay. And um, yeah, that's that's another one that doesn't have a title cover on it. Sorry about that. But uh, you know it is what it is. You know. Well, let me see something here. Wait a minute. Let's do this. We'll refresh it and see what it comes up with. Submitted for information and asset update. Okay. So it's going to update its ass. Okay. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> okay. Sorry, just it doesn't, it, 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 you know, some of them have the title cover, some don't, you know, I can't help that, all right, um, you know, you can, you can submit title covers to Unity, and then they would put it on there for you, you know, if you really wanted to do that, okay, but anyway, this is show all, all right, we'll hit RB, we'll bring it over, that's Xbox 360 games right there, that's the folder for Xbox 360, and then of course, our live arcade, and then we have our, our homebrew section right here, you know, pretty much the same thing as FSD, alright, except just a little bit more polished. And then there's your indie game, it separates the indie games, okay? And then of course, we're back to show all. Now, um, you know, for file manager and all that, just hit the back button. That brings up your file manager, script, restart, reboot, shutdown, pretty much self-explanatory, okay? Um, and in fact, uh, manager said it, there you go. You know, there's your Fahrenheit, all that crap. Alright, we'll back out of there. If you hit the start button, it will bring you to your assets and your profile, your content, uh, your modules, language, security, and about. Okay? Really easy. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this back to FSD, and then you can choose whatever you want to choose to boot up into. Okay? But I'm going to set it back to FSD as a stock, you know, stock setup for you. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll adjust the path right here. No big deal. Alright. Now, you're a model because your original Xbox was J-tagged, okay? So, you know, I mean, you, you know, you know what you're doing. All right, but anyway, I just want to show you. There you are. RB, bring it down. X, save it. Beat it back out. And now, it'll go back up into FSD, okay? Now, all right. Now, just to show you uh, a couple things on here, all right? Okay, what we'll do. All right, here's what we'll do here. Just to show you the off post. All right, let me sign in, and I'm going to sign in under a uh, profile that is not live, okay? This is just, you know, this is just for showing, you know, what we've got on here for you, okay? The all post for MW3, Ghosts, and, uh, and, um, and, uh, BO2, they're all the same. So they operate all the same. So, you know, I mean, it's going to be the same, same, same menu. Just, uh, just, um, uh, Ghost is a little bit more, more, more intuitive, okay, but, but for the most part, that's what we've got there, okay? So we'll do Black Ops 2, alright, and we'll load the game. You don't have to load it any special way, you just load it right from the dash. And as you can see, the Black Ops 2 is bypassed, and it's going to say the cheats are enabled, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? Yeah, 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 we know, we know, okay, Dolby, yeah, okay. I got to put the freaking Dolby shit, alright? Uh, now, this also has Jiggy on it, and it also has Sentinel for Zombies. Alright, so, you know, they're already GSC menus, they're already built in. Alright, I mean, I, I put them on there for you. Alright, so, you not only have the all post, but you also have that stuff. Now, we'll go to Zombies first, okay? 
and we'll load zombies up just to show you. Alright, see Black Ops 2 keeps are loading, everything is good. We'll go to a local game right here. Alright. Here comes the COVID infected 19 planet. Alright. And there we go. We'll do transit. Okay, we'll start the match. Left trigger, pull in. Uh, pull in the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. That will open up the menu. Okay, and then you, you, you can use, you use X to select. Okay? And then you hold in the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, and back the out of the menu. Okay? Pretty easy. There we go. Okay? Now, hold in left trigger, push down left thumbstick. There it is. Okay, we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit X. All right, we're going to turn God mode on, we're going to turn ammo on. Preparing this location um, should take no we'll time do, uh, at all. Double Moral speed, Gen, unlimited uh, sprint, no clips. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do, uh, what's it called? What the hell is it? Yeah, no clip. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and we'll use the aimbot. Now, we'll hold in on the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. Yeah. All right. We'll go to the weapons menu where we can choose a gun. Okay, there we go. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll... Hold in left trigger, push down. Well, there's more, there's more weapons in there. There's all kinds of things and stuff in there, okay, as you can see. All right. Um, we can go to, uh, let's see here now. We can go to, uh, yeah, personal mods. Let's see what we got here. No, 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 no. What we do is we go, uh, let's see here. Fun menu. Yeah, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff there, okay? We pull up Nick the and all that stuff. Okay? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, we can go to uh, power up menu, rounds menu, power up menu. There's all kinds of crazy things. Shoot power ups, infinite insta kill, yeah, we can do that. Infinite fire sale, there we go. And pretty much, yeah, they're all dead. Okay, every single one of them, okay? So, you know. And, uh, let's see here now, we can, uh, yeah, and then we got unlimited run and sprint, there we go, we jump, all kinds of crazy stuff here, uh, we can also, you know, add zombies, spawn zombies, we can grab a whole bunch of them, bring them in there, see, yeah, aren't they friendly, look at that, aren't they cute, yes, 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 no, 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 you're all dead, every single one of you, see, oh yeah, that was a good one. So, anyway, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of good stuff on there. All right? And we're back out of that, okay? And then what we'll do is, is um, okay, what we'll do. Uh, let's see here. We'll end the game, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over into a uh, multiplayer, okay? Good, I'm glad, good, I'm glad, I'm glad that, you, that you understand that. That's cool. All right, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see here now. Alright, so, anyway, as you can see, you know, I mean, there's your zombies menu right there. Okay, yeah, okay. And, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll back out of here, we lobby, yes. And I'll tell you what, we'll back out of here, we'll go right directly to multiplayer, let's see how that works, okay? So, there we are, and there they are, Black Ops 2 is bypassed, you can feel, okay, local, yeah, we'll do local. Alright, um, we'll set up the game, we'll change the map, we'll do DLC, Nuketown, yeah, change the game mode, we'll do standard, we'll do a free-for-all, alright, we'll back out of there, we'll set up some bots, we'll try to get practice, okay, now, alright, D-pad left to open the all post, okay, um, X to select, be to back out, and then for Jiggy, hold in left trigger, put down the right thumbstick, alright, it's going to be uh, A to select, X to back out for that one, okay? So, uh, we'll start the match now, and then I'll start it up in Jiggy, alright? I'm not sure if the open is going to open because I jumped from zombies back to here. Sometimes you got to restart the entire game, okay, for the off post to work, you know? I mean, because I, I don't know why it just does that. It's weird, but, you know. but anyway, okay. There we go. There's a Jiggy, alright? We'll do main mods, we'll do quick mods, we'll back out of there with X. We'll go down to bullets. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. We'll select, we'll select bullets. Ah, Jesus. See, that's what I'm saying. Boy, you, get, you can get confused so easily. All right. Swarms, grenades, kind of killers, explosive bullets. Yeah. And we'll shoot dogs around. Uh, yeah, dog bullets. There we go. Then we can equip the bullets so we can equip them with frag grenades, sun text, concussion, combat axes, flash grenades, shock charges. 
and Claymore. So I'm headed there. That ought to do it, okay? Okay, and we'll back out of there. Let's see. Yeah, see, your phones did not load because I went from zombies right to this, okay? So, but, um, anyway, just to get a feel for this, okay? Um, yeah, you can go all over the place here, okay? And release all kinds of crazy stuff here. Yeah, we'll go up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll blow them up. Yeah, we'll blow them up. Yeah, we'll blow them up. We'll blow them all up. There you go, okay? Release the hounds. How do you like that, buddy? Here, okay? There we go. Yeah, we'll put all kinds of crazy stuff on here. Yeah, there you go, okay? So anyway, as you can see, uh, what you shoot at? <laughs> what happened? Oh, you dead? Oh, victory is mine. All right. So anyway, you know, I mean, as you can see, it, 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 it's it's crazy, okay? Um, if you want to see these off posts, she's got that monitor. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. She's got modern GTA, brother. Hey, Derek, how are you, man? Um, if you want to see, I'll show you. I'll show you Purge real quick, okay? Um, we'll go on over an Xbox 360 games. I'm not sure if I have a uh, if I have a saved game on this or not. All right, but um, it'll give you an idea of what's what, what's happening with this, okay? Let me show you here. Hang on here. Yeah, okay. Now they're in alphabetical order. I don't know why the hell I do that. I just do. Okay, let's see. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There it is, okay? So we'll hit that. We'll hit that again. All right, now this thing's going to load. And you're going to see a menu that's going to pop up in a second. All right, which is the purge menu, okay? And purge has been around for a very, very long time. You can set a custom menu combo, open menu with right D pad X, open menu with left D pad X, okay? We'll use we'll use the standard left D pad X, okay? And like I said, I'm not sure if there's a save game on here, it might load me into North Yankton, I don't know, okay? Um but anyway, it will show you the uh the options on purge and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Uh like I said, it's been around for a long time. It's a really, really good menu. Alright, and um, you know, right now I'm testing for uh, and I've been I've been testing it for a while. We've been uh, doing a lot of stuff to it, and uh, we're, we 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 finally got basically most of the mods. A lot of them uh, from 3.9 because everybody likes likes the mods out of 3.9. We ported them over to 4.0, and uh, you know, and then of course there's all kinds of stuff in 4.0, including like a, a crazy number, all kinds of crazy stuff in that one. Okay, including drone mode and oh man, it's just nuts. It goes on and on and on. It's crazy. But um, anyway, like I said, this is a well-rounded menu. Uh, it's very, very tunable, very playable. Uh, a lot of options on the damn thing. It's nuts, okay? So you could say, yeah, he's driving you nuts for it, huh? <laughs> you should try bribing him with like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? Yeah, see, it, see, it launched me off into, into your, your jacket because they don't have a save game on here. At least I don't think anyway. Do I have a game save on here? Let's see here. Let's see if I did. Nope, I don't. Nope, don't have a select storage device. Let's see if I have game save on it. Nah, I don't. I don't. Okay. So anyway, but I'll show you what it, what it is. Okay. There you go. And there's the purge. Okay, with the purge wheel and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. So anyway, oh, uh, let's see. Quick start options. Yeah. You turn on God mode. All that kind of good stuff. Okay. And, uh, let's see, a quick option here, yeah, we'll do subtle grip, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, you got recovery options in it, of course, you know, character options, uh, and weapons options, you know, I mean, you could use, uh, you, you know, tank gun, artillery gun, cash gun, you know, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Uh, yeah, you can even turn the force field on, but that will kill everybody in the room, okay? Um, you know, uh, you know, bodyguard menu, you, you, you know that I don't fly alone, okay, you gotta, have to you gotta have Tony stun gun strippers with you, okay, you know, I mean, you, you gotta have some kind of entourage, okay, I'm quite sure that your kid will love this, okay, ooh, look, new news, okay, so anyway, yeah, ooh, wait a minute, uh, yeah, ooh, hmm, nice, alright, so anyway, uh, yeah, um, yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll get out of there, okay? Um, you know, also, you, you know, I mean, you can do, um, you could do, uh, vehicle spawner, and you can spawn all kinds of crazy stuff, like, um, let's see here. Eh, let's spawn a, yeah, let's spawn a blimp right here, okay? What do you, <laughs> there you go, okay? And here's my blimp, okay? So, 
You know, I mean, like I said, you can do anything that you want. Uh, let's see here, we can spawn a basher, a cargo plane. Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah, I landed a cargo plane on the damn thing, okay? Ah, duster. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeehaw! Um, this isn't going to go very, very well, I don't think. No. Let's try jumbo jump. What do you think? Okay, a left sword? Yeah, we can do that too. Let's see here. Yeah, do all kinds of crazy. A mallard? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, ooh, yeah, laser jet. There you go. Yeehaw! Look at me go! Yeah! Okay, so anyway, yeah. And then I can just, yeah, okay. So anyway, you know, I mean, like I said, there's, there's so much that you can do with it, it's nuts, okay? There's all kinds of crazy stuff on there, all right? Now, okay, all right? Yeah, I'm quite sure he's going to love the stun gun strippers, okay? He's going to get into that, especially when they start stun gunning everything and everybody. All right, now, <laughs> it doesn't take much to get him going, okay? So now, uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to boot back into FSD, all right? I'm going to show you how to get this thing on the network for the first time, okay? Because it's kind of important, all right? Now, I know that, that you know, you're a seasoned modder. You, you, you bought all kinds of time. You're a collector, I know, so, you know. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to get on and get this thing on for the first time. You don't even have to pull a hard drive, okay? I'm just going to go through bypass mode with you. And I've got a wired connection on this thing, all right? So what you're going to do is when you do this, okay, you're going to go ahead. When you first get the system, oh, and by the way, the power button is fixed, too. So you don't have to press it in like a freaking maniac and feel like Hercules, okay? You don't have to do that. All right, look. This is what you're going to do. When you first get the thing, plug it in and everything else. All right, I want you to hit power, and I want you to hit eject. All right, notice the tray eject's nice, too. It's not stuck or any crazy shit like that, okay? Because I'm not doing that to you, all right? That would be wrong, okay? So, and my monitor is really driving me crazy. I don't know what to do with this crazy monitor. It's really making me nuts. Okay, there we go. All right, now. All right, okay, leave the tray hanging out, okay? And then what's going to happen is it's going to bypass all the plugins and everything, okay? Now, when it does that, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here, okay? Let me hit the power button here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, okay, we'll link up the controller. Now, this is going to take in the FSD, okay, but we're not going to go there. What we want to do is this. Now, we can push the tray in, okay, and then what we'll do is we'll go to homebrew section right here. All right, then I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, all right. Now, of course, it's going to sit there and it's going to give you the spinning circle of death, okay. And that, yeah, okay, let me unplug that. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to plug it back in. Okay, we'll bypass the sign in, okay, as you can see. Okay, we're at the blackboard screen. We're going to go up, go over, go to settings, go to system. All right, what I want you to do, I want you to go to network settings, and then we're going to go to a wired connection. All right, and then you're going to test the Xbox Live connection, okay? It's going to check mark off uh, network, it's going to fail on internet, it's going to fail on Xbox Live, okay? Should It should anyway. Or it might it might continue on to, on to internet, but still fail on Xbox Live, which is cool, that's okay. All right, no big deal. So we'll let it go. There you go. And it's going to fail. And it's going to take a sweet little time. <laughs> that's what it does. Because that's the way it does. Hey, Tyler, how are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah, uh, yeah, it does. It does have a P. I, I, I do believe it does have one. I'm not sure. Um, you can go to expens.org and take a look around there and see if they got one there for you. You know, I mean, they just might have a PS1. I mean, I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, so we failed. That's cool. All right. Look, doesn't matter. This stuff is checkmarked off. This stuff is checkmarked off. Okay, Xbox Live failed. That's cool. All right. Don't care. That's a good thing. Okay. So now, now that it failed, what I want you to do is I want you to power the system off. Okay. And then what I want you to do is I want you to pull the power the power cord on this thing. You got to leave it out for five minutes, you know, to flush the buffers because if you don't, you're going to get... All kinds of crazy DNS errors and all kinds of whacked out stuff and everything. It's driving freaking crazy, okay? So just leave it out for five minutes. Just just, just humor me, okay, on that, all right? And then what I want you to do is after five minutes, plug in. Now, I can plug it in because it's on my network. It already knows. Then again, though, I've had that backfire, too, and, you know, and it, and it, and it kicked me offline. And I'm, like, sitting here for five minutes and finally the thing comes back on, you know? I mean, it's just the way Microsoft is. They suck, okay? You know, I mean, but, you know, it is what it is, okay? Now... Once you do that, okay, and you got the power back in and everything, everything is all cool, get your controller ready and all that, power the system on normally, all right, and uh, what's going to happen is the system will boot, 
All right, and when it does boot, then what's going to happen? You're going to run into FSD. You're going to get some notifications from the server. All right, you're going to see you're going to see the Xbox logo pop up there, and it's going to be flashing for a little bit. Once it locks the server, this stuff is going to stop moving around. Okay, now once it stops moving around, light is good because then that means that it did lock the server, and it locked it. Now the fan speed is going to kick up a little bit, and then what's going to happen is is we're going to get our notifications, as you can see. Welcome to Alliance, and then we're going to get one more. All right, now hopefully, if everything is right and the DNS is okay, I, I, I should be able to get to live, okay? So we're going to sync up the controller right here. We're going to go on over to homebrew section right here. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to verify that we're online, okay? So here we go. Now, please, dear God, give me the big square. Nope, it didn't. See, that's what I'm saying. It backfired on me. But that's okay. It's okay. Because, you know, it won't, it, it, it's, it, it, I just quickly unplugged it, and like I said, with a wired connection, it's crazy, okay? But that's okay, though, all right? But this is what you're going to do when it does come back online, all right? What I, what, what I do want you to do, okay, is I want you, once, once you get, once you see that square pop up, it says, Welcome Kyle Bennett and all that, I want you to go in to sign in and sign out, okay? And then what I want you to do, all right, is I want you to go to download profile, okay? If you have an existing Xbox Live profile, download it, okay? If you don't, make one on xboxlive.com slash live, okay? Once you do that, all right, then everything should be fine and dandy. Come back here and then download the profile, okay? If it gives you a problem downloading the profile, this is what you do, and this is only if it gives you a problem downloading the profile, i.e., you're sitting here for 15 minutes wondering when the hell is this thing going to download the freaking profile, okay? So this is what you're going to do. Go over to social, go to settings, go to system, all right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to go to storage settings, okay? And then I want you to go to the hard drive. And then what I want you to do, I want you to go to profiles. Now, underneath these two profiles will be the profile that partially downloaded, all right? I want you to, to highlight it like that, select it, and then delete it, okay? Just delete just the profile, that's it, all right? Don't delete anything else, okay? Once that's done and you deleted it, then I want you to come back, I want you to leave the hard drive highlighted, I want you to hit Y, okay, and then I want you, why? Why not, okay? Then I want you to go ahead and I want you to clear the system cache, I want you to do it twice, okay? So we'll do it once, alright, and it'll clear the cache, and then we're going to do it again, because Microsoft has this funny way of leaving stuff behind, okay, which is like kind of ridiculous, okay, but that's just them, okay? Now once that's done, fly on over to um, social, okay? And then what I want you to do, I want you to, whoa, what the hell, there you go, okay, and then go to download profile and all that kind of good stuff, okay, and once that happens, and you download the profile and everything is cool, hit the guide button and go to Xbox Home, all right, and then go to XM360, okay, and I think that you know about XM360, okay, and Tyler, it's good to see you, brother, um, okay, uh, with XM360, it's under the homebrew section right here, Okay, just make sure to unlock all of the DLC and all of the XBLA content to your profile, just to make sure that it's all unlocked, okay? And then, um, you know, let's see something here. I just want to take a look at something here, just for just for a second here. Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, live block and live strong, they're still off. That's good. Okay, all right, that's okay. Good. All right, so anyway, that's what you do when you unlock it, and then you're free to go ahead and play whatever it is that you want to play, okay? Now, look. Alright, um, as far as Xbox Classic games, okay, with the server loaded and all that other happy nonsense, okay, you got to realize that you cannot play uh, the Classic games because it's going to, it, there's a conflict in the memory where, you know, with, with my server loaded on this thing, what will happen is if you go, to, you, you go to Classic games and you'll choose a Classic game, you'll hit it, and then you'll get the black screen from hell, okay, and it won't play. All right. Now, the only reason is is because it's hooked in the same place in memory. Now, if I'm to go ahead and fix this, what I would do is I would power the system off. All right, real easy. Power it on, hit eject, run the bypass. All right, and then when this thing boots, it's going to bring you to FSD, of course, again. All right, there we go. Okay, sync up controller, system booted. All right, like this, good. Okay. Now we're we'll back up again. Here we go. All right. Wait to push the train until you get the FSD dash. Okay, please. All right. Otherwise, it could send a signal saying, "Oh, you want the plugins loaded?" And then load, load the plugins, and you won't be able to play the classic game. You'll be like, "What the hell?" Okay. So then we'll close the train. All right. 
now. <laughs> and then we'll go over our classic games. Okay? Pick one, any one. They all play on here today. Boom, there's your Xbox logo. There's your original Xbox. Okay? And there it is. And then we're going to listen to the broad say, Don't do this at home. Da 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 and there you go, okay? So, and there's your classic game plan, alright? Now, all right, now that's done. Once you're done with the classic game, hit the guide button, go back home, yes. Alright, now, as far as your emulators are concerned, okay, they work as well, okay? Um, just to show you your emulators and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Let's do this here. We'll go on over to emulators, alright? Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll go to main, We'll hit it, okay, just to show you that it works. All right, there we are, loading main. Okay, you trigger to go page by page, okay? Uh, D-pad to go game by game. A to launch the game. Follow the on-screen instructions. Once you're done, all you got to do is just go back home. Really easy. There's over 4,000 ROMs on that one, okay? As far as Nintendo, there's, there's like, just like... 3,000 ROMs on there. There's a bunch of ROMs on the uh, on Sega Genesis, so pretty much you're good to go, man. Okay, you got a lot. You got to, you know, so you know. There you go. Okay. So anyway, there you are, Kyle. It's all done, man. Like I said, like I promised, I took care of you, man. Okay, we put new side covers on it because your other side covers were like broken. I was like, oh my, what the hell? Okay, and then uh, you know, I put a new shell on it for the hard drive. Okay, so it kind of matches a little bit better. All right, and. Um, you know, got your faceplate all done and everything, and everything looks good. So, you know, there you go, brother. I hope that you like it, all right? And we're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much for your business, brother. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad that uh, everything worked out the way that it did. It runs really good, and you should be happy with it. So, anyway, listen, man, listen. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I know that you did. Yeah, I've got original Xbox, too, man. I've got one with a portable screen. Yeah, I built the portable screen. I actually gutted the little five-inch screen, and I put in a freaking um, I put in a a ten-inch screen. So here was the original. Here was the original five-inch screen that came with that Intex thing, you know. And I was like, oh, this is so. This is like a small penis, okay? And I was like, nah, nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all. So I went ahead and I I put in a ten-inch, 1080p screen, and made made it much better. And then of course I mounted a computer in it too. So it's got a Windows 10 computer in it. So, you know, it's nutty. But um, also, um, hey, Matt, how are you, man? Um, uh, oh, believe me, Matt, he'll play. <laughs> I know he will. <laughs> but anyway, listen, guys, thanks so much for hanging with me. I greatly appreciate it. It's really good to have you have you hanging with me and hanging around and all that kind of good stuff. And we're going to get this on out of here. I've got a bunch i got to build. Okay, in um, the 16th through the 20th, I'm going to be out of pocket. All right, I'm going to be, uh, which I'm, I'm heading up to Tennessee. We got some business to take care of and stuff like that, but we'll be back. And don't worry, everybody's gonna get their consoles and everything. Okay, it's just, it, it's just I'm gonna be going out of town now. It's kind of hard for me to carry. Let's see, all this, okay, <laughs> okay, with me. Okay, I can't do that. All right, not gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna get as many out as I can. Okay, before I go. All right, and then um, you know, then once I get back, it'll be business as usual, of course. Okay, I've got a couple sales coming up. Uh, I also got a couple more surprises coming up as well, and uh, you know, stay tuned for them. All right, and like I said, I appreciate all you guys. I really do. And Matt, it's good to see you. I'm glad everything is going good, brother. And uh, you know, like I said, look, you need anything, just give me a holler, okay? I'm around. I mean, my my original account is post block, so here I am on the page instead. I've got 15 more days till this post block is over because some idiot did not like what I said. I guess they don't like honesty, and they don't want, they don't like black and white. Everybody wants shades of gray these days. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a black and white guy. If you don't like it, screw you. I don't give a crap, okay? So, anyway, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I'll take pictures for you, Christian. <laughs> but, uh, listen, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything. Okay, I really do appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah we're, yeah, we're heading up to Gatlinburg or, um, no, 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 Pigeon Forge, that's right, yeah, because we've got to go there, and we've got a, uh, we got a, I, I got a business meeting up there with a couple of people, so, you know, I mean, and Lorraine and I, we're going to, we're going to go up there, and we're going to go take care of, go take care of business, you know, but anyway, listen, 
Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm even thinking about moving up there. I don't know yet. We'll see. But um, anyway, listen, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome, okay? I love you all. Uh, stay safe and be safe, okay? And uh, if you need anything, just, just holler. I'm around, okay? Take care of yourself, guys. Kyle, thanks again, brother. All right? We'll ship it out tomorrow. Take care of yourself.